Coach Denny Barn. After coaching on the east side of the state in Mayville and Bullet Creek for four years, Coach Barnes moved to the Muskegon area and has been a coach at Muskegon Catholic, Muskegon Reese Puffer, and presently at Montague. He has been a part of six undefeated seasons, league, district, regional championships, and three state championship teams. He was assistant coach of the year in 2012 and will begin his 39th year of coaching this fall. Coach Barnes' biggest thrill in coaching. Through the years, there have been many. The one that comes to mind is winning the state championship in 1992 in the last 37 seconds on the play of the decade, also being part of state championships with three different schools. Coach Barnes' additional comments about coaching. I'm extremely honored and blessed to be known as coach, to be associated with all the great men I have worked with, both past and present, as well as the ones being recognized here today, is truly an honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest member of the Hall of Fame, Coach Denny Barr. Thanks, Jack, for that uh, great introduction. Uh, when Jack uh, called me about the Hall of Fame uh, induction, uh, I was kind of indisposed. I was actually on the toilet. <laughs> it was kind of an opportune time, but the phone was ringing. I just happened to have it with me, and I couldn't, you know, put it off because I, I kind of knew what was coming. So, uh, you know, what can I say? So, every time I go to the bathroom now, I think about Jack. <laughs> <laughs> 38 years ago, uh, I never dreamed this day would come. Uh, to be here with all these great uh, elite coaches, and uh, those of you guys are a hard act to follow, I'll tell you. But uh, I'm still stunned by that, so uh, I want to thank the, the association for this, this tremendous honor. Uh, I, too, have some guests here tonight. Uh, uh, my daughter, or excuse me, my uh, Sister and brother-in-law, Donnie and Charlene Smesnick, and uh, Rob and Linda Sylvester, and their son Forrest. But I'd like my uh, family to stand up if they would. <laughs> my wife, Lorraine, is a, a first grade teacher. She's the, the daughter of a coach the sister of two coaches and the niece of two other coaches. So she's been in, the, in this world a long time. She knows what it's all about. And uh, I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate as far as she loves the sport probably more than I do. Uh, she's always dragging us to games. And that's what she would do if she had nothing else to do. So she's always been our number one fan. Um, my two uh, uh, kids, uh, Scott and Kelly, both were uh, High school, great high school athletes and college athletes. Uh, uh, but they shared with us a lot of the coaching experience uh, as a young man uh, or young kid, really. Scott was our water boy and uh, uh, ball boy and things like that for many years. And his sister followed in our foot, his footsteps as a tea girl and a, a, a ball girl. So uh, it's truly been uh, uh, a family affair, and I, I can't imagine going through this all these years and not having them a part of that. So they've been a big part of my life, and uh, I appreciate that so much. It's uh, it's been wonderful. Um, I've also yeah, boy. <laughs> no, it is. You know, you get up here so long, you got to do it right, so you can't screw it up. Um, I've had a lot of inspiration in my life to, to be a coach and so on. Uh, I think it was said earlier that uh, Coach Baker uh, knew in fifth grade that he wanted to be a coach. Well, I kind of knew it in seventh grade. I had a, <clears throat> a young coach when uh, he came out of Central Michigan, young and energetic, and he coached us in those days. You know, coaches coached every sport. He moved up the ranks with us all the way up until probably tenth grade. but. Uh, he was the inspiration. His name is Ron Horvath uh, out of Detroit, Michigan, and, uh, and he's the reason I'm standing here today. Uh, my parents also 
Uh, never had an opportunity to go to college. My dad was a World War II vet. And never had an opportunity to play football, a game that he really loved, because just before he got to high school, uh, his school had a death, and one of the kids died playing football, so this school banned him. So he never got the opportunity. So uh, I kind of played for him in, those, in that regard. Uh, my, parent, my mother was a hard-working secretary, a housewife, and typical 50s family, and uh, they encouraged me to go to college, and, uh, and I can't say enough about the inspiration that they gave me to move on. Um, also, I've had a lot of mentors in school off uh, through the coaching years. Uh, I'd like to mention a couple of them here. Uh, Dwayne Lammerman, what I was a student teacher for, was a basketball coach, actually. And he taught me more about coaching than I think, other than the other two or three here, uh, I could ever imagine. He was a master coach and a, a great motivator. Uh, I had the pleasure of working with Herb Caramedy at Central Michigan as a grad assistant. And he taught me organization and, and how to work practices and just a myriad of other things. Uh, Roger Cheverini, who was a great all uh, Coaches Hall of Fame, man uh, won multiple state championships, uh, was on our staff for years, uh, well, not on our staff for years, he coached for years, he was on our staff for a couple years after he retired. And I think I'm probably one of the only two people alive that could call him my assistant, because he was my assistant for a couple years, and, and what a wealth of knowledge he had. And lastly, my, uh, my father-in-law, Don Smesnick, who was a recuperating in Florida right now after a kind of back surgery, but he, he's coached for 50 years plus. Uh, he's 80 years old, he's still doing it. And uh, he's been a head coach all that time, and now he's his uh, son's um, assistant coach. So most people are, are just uh, have gone without mention as far as uh, the amount of uh, knowledge that I've gleaned from them. Um, to be a coach, you, somebody has to give you a chance to coach, and, and hire you. Um, I'd like to mention some of the guys here, Terry Turbush at Mayville, Dave Rittmaster at Bullet Creek, uh, Roy Kramer gave me the opportunity to be a grad assistant, Pete Kuchis hired me at Catholic, and Reese Puffer, and Dan Beckman, uh, principal at Reese Puffer, gave me the opportunity to be a head coach, and presently I'm working with Pat Collins, who was one of my assistant coaches at, at Reese Puffer, and now at Montague. So. I've been fortunate to be around, I've been a lot of places, and one person said, geez, all those places, it sounds like, you know, you've had a hard time holding a job. <laughs> Maybe that's true, but uh, it's, been, it's been wonderful to work with all those great people. Uh, we've surrounded ourselves through the years with great coaches. Uh, um, Randy Jacobs is, uh, was a coach that I worked with at Montague that's passed away. Yeah, I, uh, probably two weeks before the season started. Uh, just a tremendous man. Rich McCarthy, another one that's deceased. Uh, he's a Hall of Famer. His wife gave his induction speech, and uh, just a tremendous man. Dean Jewett, Kenny Diamond, Mike Holmes, Gary Mass, Kurt Henderson. Uh, some of the, the people that come to mind, there's way too many to, to name off. Uh, our current staff at Montague, Bob Peterson, Brian Jekyll, Brock Myers, Dan French, Craig Smith, Jeff Stark, and Randy Michelson are just unbelievable to work with. Uh, we just laugh and have a great time every day. It's just a pleasure to come to go work with them. And one guy we've mentioned already here, it's kind of an unofficial staff member, Dick Omar, comes up and does our camps every year, uh, the hog farm camp, and what a great guy he is, and we've learned just a tremendous amount from him. Uh, Great coaches are only great coaches because they're great players, and we've had a ton of them. And it's, they're all great in their own way. Not everybody's a stud. Now they all come in all kinds of sizes and shapes and attitudes and so on, but they're all great, and uh, they all deserve to be coached to, to, to the best of our ability, and it's been just a pure joy to, to work with all those guys. Um, in conclusion, I, you know, I like to say that I've been extremely fortunate to be at the right place at the right time. A lot of life is timing. I've had great timing. Uh, I've been fortunate to, to ride on the coattails of a lot of wonderful guys that taught me a lot and made me look pretty good at times. And we certainly don't do this alone. So this, this award is, is for all those people that have helped along the way and a little part of that belongs to them. 
it's not me, it's, it's, it's what, what they've uh, helped me accomplish. Uh, thanks again to the association for giving this great honor. I'm, I'm humbled by it. Uh, congrats to all the other honorees that are up here. I'm in awe of you guys, really, uh, for what you do. And thank you all out there for being here and showing your support to these guys. Uh, I'm really impressed. Thanks a lot.